Corey Lane met with tragedy at an early age in the loss of his mother and a good friend to gang violence. Those changes would determine where his life went. Having my friend killed very close to me, that really was the straw that brought the camels back. Uh, for me, it was a concern before because a lot of my friends, imagine them dropping out of school, getting involved in criminal activity. My thing for them, the next place is going to be jail. What happened around that same very time was a tragic event in my life uh, where my mom, she was pregnant with twin girls. During childbirth, um, the, the, my twin sisters, they came out pretty good, but my mom died during that birth. And I didn't want to grieve, so I spent my entire days in the library. And it was in the encyclopedia, I was looking for ideas, and I started to build what is now known as the, the Nature Fun Ranch. The ranch started with a single horse he purchased at age 13, and it grew. Today, it occupies several acres in St. Andrew. But more than the premises, what is remarkable is the ranch's mission, to rescue at-risk youth. One of the things that was common among my friends at 15 years old and working in the prison and the school system is this whole idea is nobody cares about me. So they believe as though parents don't care about us, society, church, school, nobody cares about us. I'm a failure. I take an exam at 11 and about 70, 80% of them are told that they're failures. Not that they fail the exam, but they are failures. And then they are dumped. And yes, you use the word dumped. Into certain schools of persons that believe and act the same way. And they go through their entire lives feeling like failures. I've been around the ranch since 2005, and it actually helped me take proper, I should say, dignity in myself. Whereas I have done a lot of things that I never possibly thought I could have done. Uh, I learned to ride horses here. I actually learned to get my driver's license here. And I learned a lot of building and different stuff like that. A lot of skills I helped develop on this ranch. And my role here now, is to help young people to follow the right and narrow road. But while some youths have been saved, many end up in prison without the problem being addressed. The day that the inmate steps onto the street again, remember that he has two battles. He has the first battle of regaining his self-esteem. And then he has the other battle in which he has to try his best to be accepted by society. Because of his success at NFR, Corey was asked to be a prison counselor to work on AIDS and HIV education. His effect, though, was more holistic. But, um, the, the important part that Corey played in, um, in my career and, and let's say in my rehabilitation or reintegration into society was that he then identified me as a writer to, to people, to, to boldly to people in, in, uh, in the media, in um, certain areas of society where, where they would not expect a person who is not an academic or doesn't have an academic background to write or to become a writer. And here is the crux of Corey's success. His concern for people is real and infectious. People want to belong and people want to be loved. So after you attract them to the program, they become like family. Because remember, a lot of them feel that they're, they're not loved, they don't belong. So they find family on blocks and in gangs. That's where they feel that connection. Within these positive and wholesome programs, we must be able to create that feeling of attachment. Today, more than 2,000 people have passed through the Nature Fun Ranch. 92% of them have not fallen back into previous patterns. And many come back to assist. But this is just a small part of what Corey Lane brings to his society. He is also a radio talk show host in Barbados, where his main focus is education. One of the things I realize with people that build wealth is that it starts in the mind. Poverty is a state of a mind and not a state of your bank account. And that speaks to the whole idea of understanding how money works, understanding how wealth works, understanding confidence, having confidence in yourself that you can do it. Not that you're born poor and you must die poor. So those are the things I'm working on. Corey has been recognized by politicians and others, and he has even been named an advisor to the Prime Minister of Barbados. Corey has exhibited his commitment to being able to help stop poor people from being poor. And indeed, that is why I took, and with great pleasure, appointed him recently as my special advisor on poverty alleviation and the attainment of the Sustainable Development Goals. When Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II conferred on Corey the Commonwealth Point of Light Award, we were all very happy and knew that it was well deserved. 
It is always tempting to ask just how remarkable people have achieved their success. For Corey Lane, two things shaped him. The first was the Boy Scouts in Barbados, which was a powerful formative element in his life. It was through Scouts that I got the idea for the ranch. It was through Scouts that John King would have given me that thirst for current affairs. It was through Scouts that I met Jason, who introduced me to Youth Parliament and Youth Council, that introduced me into the HIV AIDS Commission and got me into prison. So the Scouts was really the platform into everything, and Scouts is where I really honed my leadership. But there was another element to his success. I, I met my wife over 12 years ago. We've been together 12 years. And I can even actually remember the day she said, you know, I re I'm really inspired by what you do. I'm going to work so you don't have to. You can go, you do your volunteer work. And I said, okay, I'm going to propose to this woman. I don't know if I meet another woman like this. But for him, the advice he has to give is simple. We've had so many seminars and conferences and convocation and conversations and, you know, so many workshops and so many reports. Let's take up some of them, let's dust them off, let's see what's relevant, and let's implement. Let, let's make some mistakes. Let's evaluate and do it better next time. But is this fear of not making mistakes, so we do nothing. For these reasons, Corey Lane of Barbados has been named the Anthony and Sapka Caribbean Awards for Excellence Laureate in Public and Civic Contributions for 2019.